Welcome. This is my video on how to upgrade Lenovo Y700 laptop with an SSD and we are going to take a deeper look to the insides. What you'll need is a screwdriver, as you can see, and you're obviously going to need an SSD drive. This is a Crucial MX100. It's a bit older, but this is what I have and I think it's going to be still faster than a standard hard drive which I'm gonna test so okay so let's 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 go in and see like there are some bolts you just use your screwdriver to unscrew them and use something to store your bolts so you don't lose them this is the first time that I'm doing it so if I make any mistakes or screw something up you'll see it I like this laptop a lot it's was not that expensive for me and it has great specifications and the body is nice it's a bit heavy but I guess that's expected considering it has 960 GTX mobile GPU and i7 and it's a bit larger than the laptop that I had before this but I think it's gonna be like so much faster so I guess that's the trade-off that I will have to live with There are quite a few screws, but so far it's straightforward. I think I have four more left. Make sure you don't mix up your bolts if you're doing this yourself. Bolted everything. Let's try to open it up. So you can see it's open, backside here, nothing too special. I don't think I broke anything. Yeah. Let's place this here. So I don't know if you can see it. Here we have a battery. Here is our old hard drive. Here we have our memory. If you want to upgrade it, it's protected by this thing. Yeah, so it has 8 gigs right now. If you want it like 8 more, you can use that. And right here we have an, as you can see, this connector. If in this position, you can use an and that dot to hard drive so it's an SD like super fast SSDs but I don't have one like that and I don't feel like spending the money right now so I'm just gonna replace this standard hard drive with the SSD that I have and let's check the cooling I don't know if you can see it well He has two two coolers, heat pipes. I actually like this design. It's not designed to be super slim like my previous laptop where everything is cramped. 
this is designed that you could easily upgrade it which is actually nice and i like it to do this i think we'll need to disconnect this thingy yes now let's unbolt these screws I have two more left. One more. Okay. And let's see if it lifts up. Yeah, it is. It's easy as that. Yeah, so I'll have to take off this case and put it around my current SSD it's quite a few bolts to do this it's all nice protective covering on all the components that you can change it's nice okay let's take this out I think I'll have to pull this off. Now try to do it. Okay. Protective thingy. Let's disconnect this plug. It's a bit tricky, I don't want to break anything so. If you, you're doing this, be careful yourself. Because if you break it, then like you are gonna run out of options. Okay, so as you can see, I just managed to disconnect it. So I'm gonna use this plug on my SSD now. Let's see what hard drive it is. It's Western W Blue, as you can see. One terabyte. It's a hybrid with eight gigs of flash memory, so it's faster than your standard one, but it's not very fast. So let's put it right there. Okay, now we have to connect this connector to our hard drive SSD that we want to use okay it's in now we have to place it inside the case that we had so be super careful with the cables don't break anything let's screw in the bolts I don't know if I'm doing a good job filming all of this, but I'm just starting out. So if you have any comments how I could improve my videos, please let me know. bolts are tight don't want this thing to be loose let's glue this thing back on and let's place it back into its position carefully it's in gonna try and connect it back and okay, that's done and now it's just fast putting back 
putting everything back together so should be easy enough almost mixed a bolt it's an awesome laptop by the way if you get it but i think if you're going for the cheap versions that don't have an ssd i think it's the hard drive is what it's the limiting factor of this laptop for sure because otherwise it's very nicely spec but i'm actually happy i get to upgrade it because if i bought it from a manufacturer with an ssd it would have been much more expensive so i like that i'm able to upgrade it now let's just put this top back on let's hope everything clicks together I didn't forget anything. Let's just bolt everything back up. I'm just putting all the bolts back together and try and boot. Gonna try to boot the BIOS to test if it's booting up. And if it does, then I'll just start installing Windows. I'm gonna try and do a boot up time test and a comparison between this SSD and the one, the hard drive that I removed. Hopefully it's gonna be a good improvement. If it's not, then I'm gonna be sad because I'll have to do this again and downgrade my SSD to the hard drive. But it should be fast, faster if everything is alright. I've used this SSD before in my old laptop. And it was pretty good. Like, if I remember correctly, it should be four times faster than the hard drive. So, hopefully it's going to be as fast as the Lenovo. being super careful not to scratch anything four more bolts left I hope I do not run out of battery too Final bolt. Okay, let's try to boot. Does not have Windows installed yet, so it's not gonna boot straight away, but it should boot up to. BIOS. Okay. Let's see. Let's click F2. Let's see if our BIOS detects the SSD. Oh, it actually saw Windows 7, my old one. Let's click cancel. Okay. Does you saw like. Yeah, so. It detected my Windows 7 so it's obviously working and you can see the thing is detected in the BIOS so yeah I'm gonna install Windows 10 now and see what happens.